every Thanksgiving, I like to sit down and watch the Thanksgiving scene from Spider-Man 1. The whole movie is pretty great, but this scene in particular is one of the movie's finest. Something strange happened in my most recent viewing, however. Something so strange has taken me a few months to really process it. A question came to my head, a question I haven't really been able to shake. And that question is why did Norman Osborn shove his fingers into those sweet potatoes? Now when I explain the answer to you, you're going to have a much deeper appreciation for this movie. As this scene sets the stage for the famous climactic battle between Toby and Norman. Let's do a quick rundown of the scene first so you can get a look into my thought process. The scene opens. We see Norman Green looking awfully sweaty in the elevator. Harry's picking up some newspapers off the ground, which is kind of last minute, but that's not really the point. And then he yells at Mary Jane for goofing around. MJ, will you stop goofing around? I'm not really sure how that was goofing around, because she was kind of just smelling the sweet potatoes or, I don't know, smiling at them. Norm arrives at the door just as Aunt May closes the very oddly placed oven. The goblin enters, makes a funny little pun. Work was murder. And gives Aunt May a wrapped present, which he immediately spoils by telling her it's a fruitcake. Some bullshit with Peter and, I don't know, cranberry sauce, not important. Peter arrives, makes a very distasteful joke. I'm sorry I'm late, it's a jungle out there. I had to beat an old lady with a stick to get these cranberries. <laughs> Let's leave the uh, comedy to Sam Norman Bridges over here, huh, Pete? <laughs> Kiss that lingers a bit too long, and then everyone sits. And this, this is when it happens. Oh, it looks delicious. <laughs> Norman? Oh, look at that. He just digs in there. Really impulsively, too, right? Well, that's what you might think. But look at his eyes. Those piercing, beautiful eyes. He looks over. He sees something in that casserole. But what? What would drive a man to do such a thing? We've seen Green Norman do some pretty terrible things in this movie so far, but this? Can we really chalk this up to the Joblin genome? The Goblin genome? I really don't think we can, so I started thinking. What could he have seen? Then it hit me. He saw a hair. MJ, will you stop goofing around? MJ's big red head got too close and left a hair behind. Harry, being the daddy's boy he is, knows how much his father hates hair in his food, so he yells at MJ to stop goofing around. The real reason Normie is so sweaty in that elevator is because he's anxious. He hates eating food made by other people because who knows what kind of hair could have fallen in there. Two women, one old and brittle, hair falling all over the place. He knew the risks and he was anxious. He saw the hair and was going to politely and quietly remove it when Aunt May slaps his hand. Hear that goblin theme start playing right when she slaps his hand. She awoke the goblin inside. Other random stuff happens, the goblin gets up to leave, Harry gives chase. In the hallway, with Mary Jane's putrid follicle of hair still in his mind, Norman yells at his son and delivers the classic line. A word to the not-so-wise about your little girlfriend. Do what you need to with her, then broom her fast. Some other stuff happens and the Spider-Man kills him. So, so if you really think about it, it could be, it's their fault that Goblin dies. It's, it, it, we, God, he gets, it's P Peter, he 